Razabani Fire for TV proudly sponsored by Everlast. Delighted to have with me uh, Mikel Lawo. Mikel, uh, firstly, congratulations. Uh, feel good? Yeah, feel good, man. Um, yeah, so what, what can I say? Like, I've done what I had to do, got the win, and um, I'm out there safe, so I'm happy. We know obviously today was just to get that ring rust off. You've been out of the ring for a while, obviously, that little injury that forced that Dion Juma fight not to happen, but any niggles, anything? Yeah, a few things, a few shots, maybe like, I'd say one shot I didn't really see. You know, I was just trying to get my bearings a bit more. But yeah, I felt good all in all. I'm feeling good now. You know, as I said, I've got a win. I'm safe. My opponent's safe, so I'm happy. I know sometimes when, you, when, it, when you're out of action for a while, you just want to get back under those lights, that intensity, and get your opponent out ASAP and then and move on. Is that how you kind of felt tonight? No, no, no. I'm not sure if you, you watched the fight, but um, yeah, I was, um, from the first time, I was trying to take, really take my time, trying to kind of bait him in and just throw a little light shots. Um, I could tell that I, I could kind of tell that I could take him out because my defense is literally my, off my offense in it. So I couldn't really, I couldn't really attack too much. I, I knew I'd get him out of there too early. So I was just trying to take my time. But even the shot I took him out with, I wasn't. I didn't really want him to go down from that, but he did. But is what it is. <laughs> Question now is um, got this one out there. What is what is Nick? What is the plan? Yeah, Dion, man, Dion. Hunt, um, when he's ready, man. Then I think that there's talks that maybe October, but obviously you need to see what the promoters are saying. Then yeah, man. Hopefully you can get that fight on. Um, but I'm looking forward to it, man. I definitely want to fight him. That's like, that's a fight 100 percent want. And yeah, hopefully it gets made. It will get made. I'm just saying. Yeah. I know it was a great card that we were all looking forward to with obviously React with Turchi, yourself and Juma. React for obviously for Turchi, but Dion definitely the next one that you want. Hundred percent, like as I said, the, the board have put it forward that um, me and him are going to fight for the British title. So unless I don't know something happens, you know what I mean. And obviously he's saying that I shouldn't pull out again. I'm definitely not going to pull out. I pull out game is strong, but I'm not going <laughs> to pull out. But um, yeah, if like oh, man, he's, hopefully the, the fight gets made, then yeah, we'll fight, man. Obviously, if you get that out of the way, I know there's levels. There's, you know, we go Southern area, English, British, mm. European Commonwealth, and then world. But how long do you want to wait around in the British area? Do you think you're yeah. you're ready soon enough to, to climb? And you know, Billum Smith's got the European title, but yeah. you've been in the ring and cheered ring with people like Usyk, so you know you deserve yeah. to be at the top. I've basically sparred on, I think, almost every cruiserweight. I'm trying to think what cruiserweight I haven't sparred. At. Um, yeah, I've sparred Chris Billum play, plenty of times, or Coley, um, Dion Juma, I've sparred everybody, so I'm, I feel like I'm definitely ready to get in the mix with these guys. And hopefully um, it just happens, isn't it? So I'm getting a bit distracted with the fights. So it's looking a bit... But yeah, um, yeah um, I've, I, I definitely feel ready for it, man. I definitely feel ready. Billum Smith tonight and Chamberlain, uh, both men, cool, calm, collective. Spent a little time with Isaac last night and he was relaxed, focused, but um, would you lose your money on? Honestly, it's a 50-50 fight. Good luck to both men. Um, yeah, that's a good luck. I, I, I don't even know. I can't really say it for myself, but I think either way it can go either way. Mikhail, uh, are we celebrating tonight? What food's going down that body? Pizza, burgers, chips, uh, yeah. milkshakes, <laughs> wings? You know, I'm still going to be up here in Bournemouth, so I'll see what restaurants are open so I can celebrate with that. But obviously when I get back to London, definitely going to get me some nice pounded yam and a gussie stew. For the Nigerians out there to know about that, trust me, that's what I want to eat. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Mikael, well done again on your victory tonight. And yeah, let's uh, crack on, keep moving. Dion Juma next, maybe in October. And I'm sure we'll catch up with you then. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Mikael Lau, IFL TV, thank you very much.